Molt, and I have the pleasure today of showing and introducing you guys the new trap that is coming to Clash of Clans. I'm super excited about this. Here it is, right here, the new skeleton trap. You guys might have seen this in the background with some pictures as a little sneak peek, but this is an awesome new addition to the game that I am so happy that I get to share with you guys. So right here, we've got a level one skeleton trap. You can see all the information. So level ones will spawn two units. Um, you can see all the other stats here if you guys want to pause it and whatnot. Um, as you upgrade it to level two and level three, you get one more unit per um, trap. And as you upgrade from Town Hall 8, Town Hall 9, Town Hall 10, you get up to having the ability of having three traps. So uh, these traps are going to make a very big difference in the game, in my opinion. One thing that you guys might know about me, as I always upgrade my uh, my Town Halls and as I design my bases, I always talk about having the Clan Castle in the middle, but now you kind of have many Clan Castles in each of these traps, which is awesome. Again, guys, just pay attention to the side, and you will see all the stats for these. They can be ground and air as well. There's a little skeleton or a little skull uh, graphic on the front of the trap if it is a ground trap, and then there is a set of wings on it as well for an air trap. Now, you can spread them out all around your base just like any other trap. They're not going to be recognizable. Um, <clears throat> the trigger radius on them is pretty small. It's only five tiles, so that's kind of like... Um, an air bomb right now so you have to be strategic in how you place them and how you separate them so that people will actually trigger them in the manner that you want. Um, I'm really excited to see how this changes the game because I think that air attacks uh, can be OP at times um, and depending on how you set these to air right there you can see the wings on there. If you set them to air I think it's really going to cause a lot of distraction which is the main part for these traps for the troops that are attacking. I'm going to show you all an attack in just a second and show you these things in action so that you can see the kind of just craziness that they can add to a base design. Um, one of the biggest things that causes problems in people's raiding is distracting the troops. It can really, really turn your raid south in a matter of seconds uh, when the clan council troops come out or when your heroes end up triggering uh, the other attackers and things of that sort. So. This is definitely going to be a game changer, and we are going to go ahead and jump over. You can see right there four units for the level three. That is a air, um, <clears throat> an air trap right now. But we're going to go ahead and jump into an attack. I'm going to set some of these up along the side of the base. Um, we've got a level one, level two, and a level three trap all right there along the base. And we're going to go out into a different account and attack this. So remember where they are and watch how we drop the troops. So we're going to go ahead and drop a couple of giants all along this side. <clears throat> you can see there they go, they spawn. That is the level one trap, I believe, and you can see them um, attacking the giants. Now the thing is, the giants aren't gonna get distracted by them because the giants are focused solely on defenses. There go the minions and there go the traps chasing after them because that was an air trap. So you can see they have those balloons attached to them and they chase after the minions, but the minions did a great job of taking them out. Right there you can see we're using some goblins to um, activate that other one and you can see that those <coughs> that the little minions that pop out do a pretty good amount of damage as well as cause a great distraction. Now this wizard is going to uh, try his best but he is going to get owned so we're going to drop down a couple more and they will take them out with splash damage but as I've been saying all along I'm really excited to see how this changes the layout of people's bases how it changes the location of their clan castle, um, if it does in fact do that, or um, I don't know, just the other effects that it's going to have on the game. So we're going to drop down a giant right here, and we're going to see if he can make it to the walls before dying. So the cannon's going to hit him once and twice, and along with the cannons and those little skeletons, he's going to be taken out. So the skeletons do a good amount of damage, just like the ones that spawn from the witches. So uh, here come a whole group of minions, and you can see that they are focused, or they were focused on the ground troops, but then they switched over to those air troops that were attacking them. Here go the wizards again, spawning out, and they are going to get distracted. So if there were defenses right there inside the wall, they would do a great job of taking those out. But guys, I hope you all are excited for this new trap. I definitely am. Again, this is Molt, and as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, right? I'll see you guys later.